Around 60% of Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is underwater after days of relentless monsoon rains. Around 80,000 people have been forced from their homes by the floodwaters, which in places are neck deep. Manila has been brought to a near standstill, with schools, government offices and financial markets all forced to close. Kate McGowan reports from Manila. A water world. That's how the head of the Philippine Disaster Agency described Manila. It's been raining almost constantly here since the weekend, and many people find they have no choice but to leave their homes and everything they own for higher and drier ground. More than 800,000 people have now been displaced by the floods, and more are still stranded. Police and volunteers are combing the roads that have become rivers to find them and take them to the evacuation centres where aid workers are waiting to help. There's extensive relief operations going on with the government, but it's also extensive population that has been affected by this. The latest figures that we have is that it's 1.2 million people who are affected, and we estimate 60% of those are children. Officials have turned schools, churches and even basketball courts into temporary evacuation centres where people can get food, clothing and shelter. But it's only a temporary solution, and these people look lost and frightened. We were hoping to go home because it's difficult here. The sleeping conditions are not comfortable, and it's not easy to get food. The people in these evacuation centres are desperate to go home. Many of them are worried that their possessions are being looted in their absence, and others are concerned there'll be nothing salvageable by the time they get back. But the rain is still pouring down here, so it could be a while before they do go home. Kate McGowan, BBC News, Manila.